Okay, welcome to another video. Um, this one we're going to cover um, what a default route is and how a default route works. Um, previously, if you were watching the videos, uh, if you watched the static routing video, I had put a couple of static routes into uh, my network. Now, one of the things I did is over on this uh, on this uh, network here, I have the 192.168.1.1.0 uh, network here. 192.168.2.0 network here and the 192.168.3.0 network here. Um, on this router I have one static route pointing in this direction and, in, and I have on this router one static route pointing in this direction. Now this is a very small network and there's really nowhere else to go on this network. So one of the ways that I can implement routing in this network because there's really only one way to go, I can go this way or one way I can go this way. Um, when you're in a situation where you only have one way to go um, out of your network or to the other side of the network, what you can do is you can implement what's called a default route. Now a default route is a little bit different than a, a, normal, st or a normal route. And here you can see I have, um, right here I have two static routes in this, into this router um, and I want to change those into what we call a static route or a default route. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these routes. So I'm going to get rid of the, the first one there. Uh, let's see, I don't, I don't have that one. I'm going to type it exactly right or it won't get out of there. And let me get rid of the other one. And I've got rid of I got rid of my routes. Let me go back and double check that. Let me do a show run. And my IP routes are gone. And do a show IP route. And I can see that my my uh, routes are gone now. Because I I want to go from this network over to he, the, the, these two networks, um, I don't have to worry about which network I'm going to because there's only there's only one way to get there, and there's only one really one place to go, which is this router. And the router, once the packet gets there, will know what to do with it. So what I can do over here is I can implement what we call a default route. And let me do a config T. And for a default route, you type in IP route. Your IP address is 0.0.0.0. .0. Your subnet mask is 0.0.0.0. .0. And then you put in the next hop that you want that all your packets to go to. In this case, I'm going to put in 192.168.255.1 because I'm coming from this network over here, going through this router on my way over to this router, and I'm going to I'm going to go to the 192.168.255.1 interface to get over to this side of the network, and that's what I want to implement. Press enter. Let me end and write this and do a show IP show IP route. Now, as you can see, I, I have a special moniker here. I have this S, which is the, a static route has an S and then I have this little star and the star means it's a candidate for a default route and as you can see the network is 0.0.0.0 slash .0 .0 1 which means any what that means is any network that this router doesn't know about send it that way send it to 192.168.255.1 again because I have a small network here um, I can do that because there's only one way to get out now normally you would use a default route um, on a network that has an internet uh, internet connection, uh, you would put it on your uh, router at the edge of your network, pointing out to the internet, because you don't want to put routes on all of your uh, on your router for every network out on the internet. That doesn't make any sense. So you're going to use a default route to do that. Let me go over this uh, computer. Let me do a ping to my other networks, and I am able to ping because that default route basically says any network that this router does not know about, which is the 192.168.3.0 uh, network uh, router, send it to the other side. And I can I should be able to ping both sides of my, uh, both networks on the other side of the net, uh, on the other side of the network, both PCs over here. So I'm able to go from here now to here. Um, again, because I'm, um, I'm doing a, a very simplified network diagram here, I can do a static route or a, a default route on both sides. On this side I have one stat I have one static route which is the uh, 192.168.3.0 network uh, go through the 192.168.255.2 uh, router so I'm over here I want to get to this side of the network go through this router um, I can again I can replace that because there's only one way to get there I can replace that with a, uh, a default route now I have to get rid of the, in the initial route first let me get rid of this I'm going to do a copy paste make sure the word knows in front of it and hit enter that routes gone now I'm going to do the up arrow and I'm going to change this to 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 with a subnet mask of 0, .0, .0, 0 0.0.0.0 and I'm going to get rid of the word um, got to get rid of the word no let me do that again here 
0.0.0.0 with a subnet mask of 0.0.0.0 and hit enter and I'm going to end this and write it do a show IP route and I do have that new default route into my network uh, so now I should be able to ping from one side of my network to the other without any problems and now I've been able I was able to create um, additional uh, I can create additional routes. I can I can add additional networks without having to create new routes. For example, if I was to put another network over here, let's add another switch onto my network, and we'll add another 2960 here. We'll add another PC here. I'll give me my cable. We'll connect the switch to the router. <clears throat> we'll connect the computer to the switch and we're going to make this the 192.168.4.0 uh, network. I'm going to grab this, move it over here. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting in my labels um, to make sure that I know what I'm doing as I'm going through this network. Uh, we're going to set this one to, we're going to set the IP to um, 192.168.4.10 with a 255.255.255.0 mask and 192.168.2, sorry, 4.1 is the default gateway. Got that set. Come up to my router. I need, I need to configure the interface. It is G0 slash, I believe, 0 slash 1. Let me double check that before I type it in. Yep, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. I'm going to set the IP address as 192.168.4.1 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. No shut the interface. End it, write it. Now, I added this new network to my, uh, added this new little network segment to my router. Now, if I was using regular static routes, I would have to go add another static route on the other side over here to get it be able for these computers to communicate. But because I'm using that default route, I don't have to do that. And I'll show you here in a second once my network comes up, uh, once this turns green and, uh, and it shows me that I have connectivity. A couple more seconds and we should have it. There we go. Now I can do a ping to 4.10 and it should be successful here in just a second. There you go. I'm, I have a successful ping from here over to the very new piece of my network because I didn't have to create another route because that default route says any network that I don't know about send it this way and this router you tell it with a default route any network that I don't know about send it this way now again this only works if you only have one way through the network if we were to add another router up here and make another connection this would now be a little bit problematic because there's multiple ways to get through the network and the default route wouldn't work but in a case where you again have only one way to get to the other side of the network a default route works really well and also works if you're connecting your router to the internet and all you want any all of your traffic that's not on the local network to go out to the internet you use that default route and that covers a, that covers default routing uh, you creating a default route I uh, hope you enjoyed the video if you uh, like the videos please subscribe to the channel and I will uh, you'll get access to the uh, new videos as they're put out thank you very much